Hey everyone, I'm Ian Baker, and a question I often get asked is, can my vehicle tow this RV? And I wish I could give you a simple yes or no, but reality is there's a lot of different factors we need to look at. Today I'm gonna to go over the important weights you need to understand before you start towing your travel trailer or fifth wheel. Also, please understand that all these weight ratings are like a big chain, and if the weakest link isn't strong enough, you can't tow the RV. All the weights we're about to go over need to be under max capacity to ensure a safe trip. This video will have a lot of terms, so I recommend taking notes and watching it multiple times if need be. Let's get into it. First up is dry weight, also commonly called UVW, which stands for unloaded vehicle weight. This is the weight of the RV without any liquids, passengers, or cargo. Your automobile or tow vehicle will have a similar weight, but it's called curb weight. So, dry weight for RVs is essentially the same as curb weight for your tow vehicle. Next up is GVW, or gross vehicle weight. This is your RV dry weight plus liquids, passengers, and cargo. For your tow vehicle, it's curb weight plus liquids, passengers, and cargo. Simple enough, right? The next step is to find your vehicle's max tow capacity. As the name implies, this is the maximum amount your vehicle can tow. You want to make sure your vehicle can handle the GVW of the RV. This can be a little tricky as your RV's GVW will change depending on what you load in it. A great tool to find your vehicle's max tow capacity is our tow guide at rv.campingworld.com slash tow guide. Now we get to GVWR, not to be confused with GVW, as GVWR stands for Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. You'll find both your tow vehicle and your desired travel trailer or fifth wheel will have this rating, and they'll almost always be different from each other. GVWR is the maximum allowable weight of the RV or tow vehicle when fully loaded. So you have to make sure the GVW of your RV doesn't exceed its GVWR, and that the GVW of the tow vehicle doesn't exceed its GVWR. This leads us to the CCC, or cargo carrying capacity of an RV. This number is simply the difference between the RV's GVWR and its UVW, and lets you know exactly how much you can store in your RV, including water in the freshwater tank. You can certainly make an educated guess as to how much you're loading into the RV, but it's best to be conservative when loading up for a trip, and then take the travel trailer fifth wheel to a truck stop and have it weighed on a scale. Now we move on to the GAWR, or Gross Axle Weight Rating. This rating generally isn't exceeded unless you have really heavy cargo, but it is something you want to keep in the back of your head. This rating is important to remember as you're loading your RV so you don't overload an axle. Again, you can check the weight on an axle at some truck stop scales to see what your axle weight is at. What about the weight of everything combined? The RV and the truck and everything you've loaded in both plus passengers. Is that important? Of course it is. This is called the GCWR, or Gross Combined Weight Rating. It's best practice to stay well under the maximum here to make sure your brakes can appropriately bring your vehicle RV combo to a safe stop. Lastly, a very important weight we need to keep in mind for the RV is tongue weight for a travel trailer or pin weight for a fifth wheel. This is the weight that is getting added to the rear of the tow vehicle when you hitch up your RV. You need to make sure this added weight doesn't exceed the payload capacity of the tow vehicle, which is essentially how much weight the vehicle's rear suspension can handle. And, we need to make sure not to exceed the GCWR. Pin weight is especially important to pay attention to if you plan to haul a fifth wheel with a half-ton truck. Most half-ton trucks have huge tow capacities, but their payload capacity is where they tend to fall short. I know we covered a lot in a short time, and it's not the most interesting topic in the world, but it is something you should understand so you can feel confident in safely towing your RV. Also, if you have any other questions about towing, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll make sure we get your questions answered. Thanks for watching folks, I'm Ian Baker, and this finishes yet another chapter in your RV Buying Guide.